Later on, I'll be showing you how to install Angular and run the required development tools locally on your computer. But for now, we are going to use an online editor called Plunker, which you can find here, plnkr.co. By the end of this lecture, you're going to understand what Plunker is, why and how to use it, understand the structure of an Angular Plunker. So what is Plunker? So it's a web-based editor and development environment. So with it, you can create, edit, and run HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files directly from your browser. No setup is required. Everyone can code in the browser instantly. So if you look at this plunker in front of you right now, each plunker has its own unique URL which you can share with others so it's a useful way to show other people your work. You can't edit someone else's plunker, but you can fork it. Forking creates a new plunker that you own with all of the files copied across. So if I click fork on this plunker, you can see that the URL now starts with 86R. If I click fork, this generates a new plunker with a new URL with all of the same files copied across. So if your plunker has an index.html file and you click run, it will open up that file in the preview pane on the right hand side. So for the purposes of our course, we have a specific type of plunker that we use for every single lecture. It's an Angular 2 plunker. Now the structure of an Angular 2 plunker is an index.html file. This is the main HTML file which includes the required libraries and bootstraps our Angular application. We also have a script.ts file and this is the main file in which we'll be placing all of our Angular code. We have this file called system.config.js which is the configuration for system.js, which handles the module loading and compilation of TypeScript into JavaScript. We're gonna cover the topics of module loading and transpilation in a later lecture. And we also have a file called tsconfig.json. And this is a configuration for the TypeScript transpiler. Again, we'll cover this more in a later lecture. Instead of including all the files we need as script tags in our index.html file, in Angular, we break up all of our code into files called modules. We then leave it to a module loader to load these modules when they are needed, in the order they are needed. It will eventually become part of the core JavaScript language, but until then, we need to use a module loader. There are several available, but the one we use in our plunker is system.js. Later on, when I show you how to build an application locally with the Angular command line tools, the command line tools will use another module loader called Webpack. We just can't use Webpack in Plunker. It's just too complicated to be able to use in a simple web interface, which is why in Plunker, we're using system.js. We're also including the system.js.config.js. This is the configuration file for system.js and helps system.js figure out when and how to load up certain modules. Now that we've loaded up the system.js library and we've configured it, we can now use the system.import function to load our script.ts file. So you might wonder why we don't just add our script.ts file in another script tag. Well, apart from the fact that script.ts is, is written in TypeScript and browsers don't know how to run TypeScript yet, because in script.ts we include other modules, if we loaded it via a script tag, the browser doesn't know how to load those other dependent JavaScript files. But by loading up with system.import, we make system.js figure out which dependent modules are required, and it then loads the files for those automatically. So for every lecture in this course, there's going to be a plunker. There's going to be a URL that you will be able to click on and view the source code for that lecture, as well as run the source code for that lecture. You can then fork it if you want, and then start editing it yourself and trying your own things out. If you have any problems with any code in any of the lectures, you will then have your own URL 
that you can post into Stack Overflow or any discussions panel related to this course. And it just makes it a lot easier to share your code with others. Other people can then just immediately see all of the different files, all of the different code that you've written. They'll also be able to run it in their browser. And if you're looking for an answer to your problem, this is the best way. So in summary, we can code up Angular in the browser using an online editor called Plunker. It gives us the ability to try out Angular quickly without requiring complex setup. It also gives us a unique URL. So one, we can quickly take a look at some code another person has written, or two, we can share our code with other people, which is especially useful when we are stuck with some broken code and need help.